What's up guys? Welcome to today's video out here in Ibiza at Nirvana Gym. Lovely little setup today. We're going to be doing the ultimate dumbbell chest workout. So I'm going to pick five exercises, go through each of them using only dumbbells and a bench. So the first exercise we're going to do is a flat dumbbell bench press. The way we're going to do this one is six reps, heavy as possible, at quite a fast tempo. So two seconds down, no pause at the bottom, and then explode up to the top. One second hold or pause at the top okay this isn't the sturdiest of benches but <laughs> we're gonna do what we can with the equipment we have obviously before you do this I would recommend that you spend a good five to ten minutes warming up doing a couple of warm-up sets before you get to your working weight So with that one, because I will be going quite heavy, I want to try and protect my shoulders a little bit. So when I'm pressing, I keep my elbows tucked in a little bit more than I would do usually. Not too far tucked in to over engage your tricep, just to about here, okay. So anyway, next exercise we're gonna do is an incline dumbbell press. Shockingly, obviously we only have dumbbells. I've written the workout down. For this one, we're gonna be changing the tempo a little bit. So it's gonna take much longer to do one full rep. So we're gonna do three second negative, no rest at the bottom, two seconds up, no rest at the top. So you're constantly under tension, right? We're gonna go for eight reps. Eight long reps. Okay, so for the incline dumbbell press, there's no perfect level of incline. I would just recommend you vary it from time to time. So anywhere between like 30 degrees up to 45 degrees, maybe even 50 degrees, just so that you're working all the different lines of your upper pec fibers. So the next exercise we're gonna go into is a dumbbell fly. Now I'm gonna leave it with you guys as to whether you wanna do a decline, flat or incline. It's up to you and which part of the pec you wanna focus on more. Okay, so just look in the mirror and see what needs to be done. So for me, I'd say my lower pec is looking all right. So I'm gonna work more on my upper pec fibers. So I'm gonna do a slight incline dumbbell fly. Now with this one, tempo is gonna be a bit naughty. It's gonna be very slow, very controlled. I'm gonna be overloading the lengthened part of the pec the most. So this is where we wanna spend the majority of the time. Nothing's really happening here, so I wouldn't spend too much time there. I'm gonna do a pronated grip. I personally find I get a better contraction when doing that as opposed to doing this. I'm gonna do four seconds down, one second pause at the bottom, two seconds up, and one second pause at the top, okay? Very slow, very controlled, okay? So with this one, it's a bit of a controversial one. People will be like, oh, why are you doing dumbbell flies if they're really dangerous? Well, to be honest, a lot of exercises are dangerous. It just depends how you are executing them. So for this one, to stay on the safe side, just don't go too deep, particularly if you do have tight shoulders. Just be careful. And the pros of doing it so slow is that you do have more control over the movement. You're not letting your, you know, the dumbbells come down too rapidly and deaccelerating and ruining the shoulder, okay? Oh. Now we're going to move on to a decline dumbbell press. A lot of pressing in this workout. Now I know some people might not have access to a decline bench, so what I would recommend you do, get a plate, ideally as thick as possible, and then you're going to put this under there. Yes, it's not the safest thing, but you've got to do what you've got to do. So we've created a bit of a decline there, and that is, that's all we need really, okay? This one is going to be savage. We're going to do a four second negative this time. So four, three, two, one. And then you're going to hold the pause at the bottom for two seconds. And then press up. Slide pause at the top. So the 
last exercise we're going to do is a press up, but we're going to use the dumbbells by just placing our hands on it like this. Okay, so we're going to be pressing up. I put the dumbbells not like that, but maybe at like a 45 degree position. Okay, and with this one, slow and controlled, we're going to go higher rep. I would aim anywhere between 15 and 20. So this is really dependent upon your own personal ability. But you don't want to go to complete failure on the first set. We'll need a few more in the tank. Okay, so keep in mind the angle at which you're putting dumbbells. If you have them more in a neutral position like this, you're going to be working more of your triceps, whereas this gives you more chest, right? And I would just recommend that whatever position the dumbbell handle is pointing, try and get your elbows to point backwards at the same angle, okay? So everything is all aligned. That way it's going to be nice and tasty on your joints. So that is the session folks, five exercises you can do to help build your chest using only dumbbells. Hope you've enjoyed it. I personally wouldn't train just my chest in one session. I would combine it with another muscle group or maybe another two. That way you can hit that muscle twice per week. But it's up to you and your own split and how often you can train. If you want to check out more of my training programs, go to my website www.mikethurston.co.uk. Swim shorts coming soon in about a week or so after this video is posted. So go on the website. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon.